welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're continuing our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. If I pause my game since the last episode, uh, let's just say my phone has been rather busy as I feel like the AI has decided to drop every single barn find on me. So yes, we are definitely gonna have to go and do some of those today. We also have these. We have two Horizon Adventure chapter things to go and spend. And you know what? I'm gonna let Twitch chat pick what we spend our points on. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six more left to go. Gee. The first thing I see is somebody wants me to unlock the Goliath. I like that idea. Now we're talking. I'll start putting together ground crew, officials, and barriers. Lots and lots of barriers. Twitch chat is asking me to spend my second one down here in the street scene to unlock the marathon. Okay, very, very nice. So we are up to date on our Horizon adventure now. Ramiro was saying the same thing. I'll give him the go-ahead for the marathon. Before we get into either of those things, there is something really, really big and important that DJ told me about a little bit earlier today. You know how in Forza Horizon games, when you come to your message center, you can see daily payouts. You can see, for example, how many times my blueprints have been used, or my liveries have been used, or my tunes, or so on. What I didn't know, though, is you actually need to click A to um, redeem all of them. And then they all get added in, so we're up to 33 million credits. We've got 39 kudos now, which is awesome. Now that we've got all of these crazy, crazy events, we need to build a perfect vehicle for them, right? All of Twitch chat does want me to go and do the street scene events. Okay, so we're gonna have some nighttime underground racing today. We probably should drive the McLaren 720S Spider since it's also a convertible and I've genuinely not even messed around with the convertible roofs in this game before. We can swap our front bumper on the McLaren 720S. It kind of gets this more aggressive front bumper that I kind of like a lot more. More actually. For our rear wing, unfortunately, we don't have any options. Blech. I'm just saying, we definitely could have done with like a chassis mounted rear wing on this thing. That would have been sweet. We've got this Duke's dynamic rear diffuser. That's super, super aggressive. I like that. We've also got some Duke dynamic side skirts. Very nice carbon fiber on there. And then finally, a carbon fiber hood. That looks really good. Wait, does it? Yeah, it actually makes our vehicle lighter as well. That's pretty cool. We have no engine swaps for this thing. So 720S bone stock engine. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'm already on semi-slick tires bone stock. I could upgrade to full slick tires, but we might end up driving in the rain and I don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to keep the tires stock actually. What I will do is just make them a little bit wider. 345s in the rear. That's huge. We're also going to get some engine spacers on here. Those are a little bit disappointing. They definitely could have been a little bit more aggressive. And then we need some new rims. Can we get some cool ones from Rotiform? Maybe something... Ooh. Ooh. All of Twitch chat is approving the rims. I know they might not look that nice, but I kind of like them. I'm also trying to keep this car in S1 class as well. So we cannot go crazy with all of our upgrades. We will toss in a six-speed transmission. I really like six speeds the best. I find I miss the least amount of shifts with them, so I'll go with that. We can get some race suspension. That actually looks really, really nice. Let's also get a little bit of weight reduction if I can. I can't go for race. That makes me S2 class. I can get sport, though. Yeah, let's go for that. Last but not least, let's get a little bit of horsepower and then we'll be at the top of S1 class. We are way lighter than we were before. We also have a little bit more horsepower and way more grip. I think this is gonna be pretty good. Let's go convertible roof. That is so sick. I apologize that it's taken me so long to actually do this. That is so cool. I love the animation. I'm just saying playground games, we need way more convertibles. We need 6,000 more accolades to unlock the next Horizon adventure. So doing some of these races should be a really good way to do it. Also, we'll have to unlock some barns today. Once we've done all that, I, I think we'll have the next chapter unlocked, really. Good job, Nick. Open the roof in a sandstorm. <laughs> you didn't see anything, okay? McLaren 720S, our very first street race. I'm a little bit nervous about this because I am rear wheel drive. I definitely... 
Huh? 33 kudos? Anyways, as I was saying, we definitely made the right choice for our tire compound considering we're driving around on wet roads. If I had taken the Horizon slick tires, I, I would have been dead last. No, no question about it. Our McLaren 720S is definitely the right looking vehicle for this thing. Wait, is that a, is that a Toyota Corolla Formula Drift Edition in front of me? Oh, AI held up by the traffic. Thank you. Thank you, box van. Oh, let's go. See, it's usually the AI screwing me over. It's nice when it's finally the other way around. Let's go. 720S. AI is nowhere to be seen behind. Oh, we're gone. Oh, we're so gone. If you want to just win all of the races in Forza Horizon 5, just wait for the AI. I swear that was like that when I got there. 720S, I will gladly take that one. Uncontested first place. Let's go. I might be casually destroying Mexico one food stand at a time. Anyways, though, I completely forgot to mention earlier on, right now, for those of you who don't know, you can join the AR-12 Forza Horizon 5 clubs. We have not one, not two, we have 10 clubs for Forza Horizon 5. You can see this one that I'm in, that's already full. AR-12 Gaming 2, that one's full. AR-12 Gaming 4, at the time of recording this, that is filling up. AR-12 Gaming 6, there's some spaces in there. AR-12 Gaming 5, AR-12 Gaming 3, there is a bunch of room, so feel free to join any of them. Also, heads up, we will be doing some really, really cool stuff with the AR-12 clubs in the future, so you'll definitely want to join one of them. That race finished us up south of one of our barn finds. So you know what? Since we're over here, I mean, it's not really a good car for off-roading, but 720S? Yeah, let's go find a barn. This car looks so so good in the game. That is so sick. I love it. If it was me who was hiding a barn, I would definitely hide it up the hill behind a whole bunch of trees. Eh, okay, maybe not. Damn it. Oh, I think I found it. See, there's no such thing as a mistake, just happy accidents. Let's go. Let's go, game. See? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's a Mustang. Oh, talk about famous cars. This is the one from, uh, what's that movie with the detective? Uh, hang on, it'll come to me. I bet you they couldn't say the actual name of the movie because of licenses. Yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, the movie's Bullet. I mean, that was easy enough. So we found a barn find and we've got another street race all the way over here that ends all the way down in the bottom right. Okay, that should be good. Don't get me wrong. I really, really like this McLaren. But on the other hand, I also really want to try out the Lamborghini that has the Duke Dynamic parts as well. Maybe we should build the Lambo as well today. That could be a lot of fun. And you know what else we got to build at some point in the future? My very own Shelby GT350. Yeah, we definitely need to give that a go at some point too. For now though, we will say see you later. We are going to set... Oh, burp, burp, burp. Thank you. Are the AI gonna bottle it into the traffic again though? I have a feeling they will. The McLaren is a dream to drive. This thing is rear wheel drive, but it's got grip for days. Whoa, the traffic spawning in like that, trying to take me out. This thing is so good though. This thing is so good. Through all of the twisties through here, just a little lift and back on the power. Straight in, what a beautiful vehicle, in not even thinking about braking. Probably should have thought about brake. Definitely should have thought about brake. Uh, finish line, please. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. I wasn't worried. Nothing to see here. McLaren, very nicely done. The 720S is an absolute champion. We just got 2,000 accolades from that race. A whole bunch of XP. We get another wheel spin. All right, here we go. We're about to have some streamer luck here. Today's a good day. Today's a very good day. We only have two and a half thousand more accolades left before our next Horizon Adventure chapter. Why don't we head back to the house though and build up another vehicle? But it's right in the heart of one of the most beautiful villages in Mexico. 
right by the east coast too. You're gonna love it. Uh, my guy, I bought this house already. Uh, I don't own the house all the way up here that costs 5 million bucks. I haven't bought that yet. I'm not gonna complain about the achievement though. Anyways, welcome to our new house again. I already have a hurricane in my garage. No way. We're gonna jump out of the McLaren and we're gonna build this thing up instead. Geet just dropped five gift subs on Twitch chat to promote AR12 Gaming 7 Club. <laughs> I feel like I'm now obliged to plug AR12 Gaming 7. Go and join it. Geet is a crazy person. The seventh official AR12 Gaming Club ran by the bald man himself. Geet are done. Somebody says, okay, I'm gonna leave number two and join seven. After that very blatant advertisement for the AR12 Gaming Forza Clubs, let's go Lamborghini Hurricane and swap on the Duke Dynamics kit onto this thing. So we've got a front bumper. We've got a Hurricane Performante style rear wing. I, I like the performante, so let's go with that one. Oh, that is way more aggressive. That looks good. I like that. And then last but not least, we have some side skirts as well. Eh, it's not bad. I don't actually want to swap the engine in the hurricane, so let's keep our bone stock one. What we will do, though, every good hurricane gotta have some twin turbos, so let's go for those. We're already all-wheel drive. I don't want to swap the Liberty Walk kit on because that's gonna remove my really cool front bumper, so we're not doing that. And then in terms of my tires, let's go, yes, semi-slick tires on this thing. Maybe instead for the Lambo, we just crank this thing. How much horsepower do you think this could have? Do we toss on those rotiform rims? We've got some crazy wheels in this game. Let's toss on some race suspension here as well anti-roll bars, and some weight reduction. Removes it all the way below 3,000 pounds. Okay. And then you know what? I want to see how much horsepower we can get out of this stock engine. Let's see. Just a casual plug for AR12 Gaming 7 Club. What are we doing? After all of our upgrades on the Lamborghini now, we've got our awesome body parts. We weigh less than 3,000 pounds and a 1,200 horsepower. Let's go. Maybe we should bring back our Forza Horizon 3 or 4 paint job. Oh yes, what a paint job. That is so sick. Okay, I'm sharing it, I'm sharing it. All right, I really don't know which one I like more, the Lambo or the McLaren, I have no idea. Anyways, we've got a street race right over here. Yeah, you know what? I guess let's go do that one. Lamborghini Huracan, let's see if you can really compete with that McLaren. Let's go. I actually love these street races in the game though. These are so, so sick. All right, here we go. Up the inside of a couple, was that a? How am I racing against a Mercedes AMG Project 1? How is that fair? Also in other news, um, I think the Lambo's even more OP than the McLaren was. This thing is just ridiculous. This McLaren is just launching its way through the corners. Obviously, it's S1 class compared to S2 class, but this just carved its way through the pack, and the AI cannot catch up now. What? what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lambo's do have understeer. That is... Oh, God. That is one of the downsides of Lamborghinis. I am in fifth place. This is not good. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Lamborghini is insane when it gets on the gas. It might only have 1,200 horsepower, which I mean, compared to some of these cars is not a lot, but boy, does it catch up well. Yeah, so note to self, if you do drive a big Lamborghini like this, uh, press, press the brakes earlier than you might expect to. Yep, you know, just a Lamborghini doing Lamborghini things. Not really being able to go around a corner that well. But that was good. That was really, really good. No way this race finished in a barn fine territory. Okay, let's see if we can find this one. Since this thing is all wheel drive, we can definitely do barn find hub. Okay, the barns are way too easy to find in this yes. game. Like that's ridiculous. Whoa, no wonder those American collectors wanted this. It's a Viper. The ACR, I think. Aye, eight liter V10.
Look at that oh, rear tire. Awesome. That is such a sick car. That oh, Dodge on, Viper. Gonna be so cool. Anyways, now we found eight out of 14 barns. We still got a couple of them, especially up at the top of the map, but... We're not doing too badly. Maybe I should come over here. The Universidad is sending a technician to do some research at our festival outposts. And he needs a driver. Be nice to him. He's my baby cousin Juan. Am I the only one who loves the fact that your character actually talks back and like interacts with other people? Okay, so test driver. We've only got three chapters. I don't actually know if that's how long this is. But for three stars, I have to do whatever this is in two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. I think I should show you around the East Coast region first. Alejandra says a real racer studies the track beforehand. I talked to the university into letting us study the beautiful beaches and clear blue skies. These calls for power and style. I'm just saying, if I knew that there was a Ferrari Portofino at somewhere in my university Ruth career, I probably would have tried a little bit harder. And Alejandra is probably watching the video feed, so... She could have picked something nicer than a swap. He <laughs> disculpa me, my friend. Am I the only one who just got major TDU2 vibes from this? Driving a convertible Ferrari with somebody in your passenger seat? Whoa. I just want to get three stars on this event, okay? And I don't know if I should be quarter cutting or not. I'm just trying to drive as quickly as possible, get to the next destination. Okay, corner cut. That's a few Sorry, seconds. Sorry, got him coming through, coming through, coming through. Watch out. Sorry. That's got to be the finish line one mile away. I've only got 30 seconds. Okay, go. Go. Go, Ferrari. I've never said that before. Oh, oh. Sorry. We're nearly there. Five seconds. Yes. Got him. Excellent. It's very important if you want to compete at Horizon Apex. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea why we did that. But I got three stars. I only made it with three seconds to spare. Now that we've done that event, though, I should have enough accolades to unlock the next chapter. Let's see. Hey, Nick. You know what time it is. Where to next? We only have four things left to unlock. I don't know what to do. A lot of Twitch chat is saying do Horizon Apex. Okay, we can certainly unlock that. Lucha de Carteras. Yep, I nailed the pronunciation of that. There's Mexican car wrestling at Horizon, and I'm stuck up in the operations center. Adding it to your schedule. This certainly looks like a barn. Here we go. Is that it? Let's go. No, 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 no. They found one of these things in Texas a few years back, but I had no idea there was another. That is a 250 GTO. We've hit the jackpot. Say hello to the world's most expensive car. Honestly, after all of that, I don't know what I like more. Lamborghini or the McLaren, both of them were super, super good cars.